now. They're uh... taking a walk on the wild side once in a while, and one of the wildest sides of this town is the East Village. It's something more easily experienced, I think, than explained. The East Village was the cradle of America's punk in the 70s, an underground counterculture that rocked to garage bands and shrugged off such labels cited in Punk Magazine as a sexual, faggot, hippie, and more literally, blood-sucking, ignorant scum. The East Village is art outside the galleries, theaters, and of course the concert halls, and in a guide called Art After Midnight, the East Village Scene, our next guest and his art receive a lot of attention, and you can see why. The man is John Sex. His work is called Performance Art. And I see you did some performance art on the hair. I, I like that. How long does it take you to do that? Well, it takes about a half an hour, and uh, this is my um, personal tribute to uh, Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty, yeah. you got the look. Yeah. <laughs> now, you do performance art. What is that to the uninitiated in America out there in Iowa watching well, right now, myself? What is that? Well, that that is a term that I don't really uh, uh, hold too close to myself today because um, I've gone through so many changes. People used to uh, say I did performance art because they didn't know um, uh, what category to put me in because I wasn't exactly a singer. I was mainly a dancer. I was also an actor. As a, you know, I did all Your these poster things. art uh, albums. And I was an artist and, you know, uh, so they put me in that category because when I was on stage, I did everything at once. It was like a multimedia show. And uh, now, well, things are different, and I'm becoming a little bit more mainstream. I'm on CNN News, right? <laughs> Can't and, get more um, mainstream than that. <laughs> you know, record companies are, like, barking at my heels. and. Uh, what? So. I, no, wait a minute. i got to ask you, uh, and I guess a lot of your friends might ask you, are you selling out to avant-garde art in the east side of town? What are you? Well, it's, you know, you have the choice of uh, performing in uh, East Village, uh, dives your whole life or, uh, you know, moving <laughs> on to Carnegie part. Hall, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's a, a logical next step. So are you, uh, are you doing art now or are you doing something you think is going to sell? Well, uh, I'm not like um, changing myself that much to become uh, mainstream, you know. Uh -huh. Some things in my act I have to change because, uh, you know, if they're X-rated or R-rated, you know. Uh, well, you be... have a habit of taking your clothes off in public. Uh... Well, you know, I haven't been doing that lately because I... I was on a crash diet and lost a lot of weight. You so, gotta look good. You know, uh, as they say, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm not, you know, so. <laughs> well, John, we want to show uh, America what it is you do out there, even though uh, you're not doing performance art so much anymore. Yeah, we have a little video here. Uh, you're, what are you doing? Oh, it seems like I'm singing a song. Yeah. And this is your uh, backup group? Uh, yeah, these are the Bodacious Tatas. Uh, Bodacious. Very busty. Um, big-breasted, uh, bodacious gals, and uh, there they have all their clothes on, but usually they don't. They don't? Yeah. Well, I can see why you draw big crowds then. Well, you know, it's, um, it was, you know, things started, we, I always started things out as a goof, you uh -huh. know? Well, that's oh, part of it, isn't it, really? Uh, this, uh, what they call the, uh, I, I, this is new to me, called the uh, hip-hop art and this sort of thing. Uh -huh. Isn't all this stuff going on in the East Village uh, and Soho? It's just to have fun. Are you necessarily involved in any sort of a message or anything like that? Or is it just sort of whatever comes to mind? Well, it, it, you know, whatever, we, whatever I was always involved in, I was always pulling things out of the, the media or the culture that I saw and making a joke out of it. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that, uh, you know, people say, oh, you're, you know, you're very novelty and this and that. But I always thought that what I was doing was as relevant as somebody like... Uh, Prince or Madonna. I mean, what, when I watch them on MTV, I think it's a big joke, too. So, you know. Um, and I'm sure a lot fun. of fun. You're just having fun. Yeah, having a lot of fun. And, There's no uh, big message here, America. Is that it? Uh, no, but things I used to do years ago, I, I think about it and I say, actually, I was saying, I was trying to say this or uh, show this, and I actually was, but I can't, you know, dissect what I'm doing now because I'm kind of like living it and uh, I never know what I'm doing anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got to ask you because everybody asked you this question. How did you get the name John Sex? I'm, I know well, your parents didn't start out with that idea. Well, a lot of people think that uh, it's a stage name that I picked. But um, the real story is that when my ancestors came from Ireland to America, 
you know, they had to pass liberty too. Mm -hmm. They um, they wanted to become more American. They wanted to forget about you know their Irish heritage, and they didn't want anyone to you're know. You're not going to tell me your ancestor's were, name was Osex or something. No, they didn't want them to know that you know they were from immigrants. You know, so they could assimilate in uh, society better. So they changed the name from Sexton to Sex to be more American. Huh? What? My, I, the, <laughs> you're not shining me on, as they say. No, no, that's that's the um, that's god awful truth. Cross my heart. <laughs> uh, now let's see. You're achieving. I'm speechless on that. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> be careful, you know. You're talking to a guy named John Saxon. He's got his hair on Statue of Liberty. Uh, you're you're a mainstream kind of guy now. Are you accepted back in the east? East side, Soho, when, when you go back down, are you getting uh, static? Yeah, they, you know, have a lot of friends and, you know, people to say hi. I don't know who anybody is. Yeah. I meet so many people, you know, being a big star that I am. Ah! No, people, it's like I, I get one or two reactions. People either love you or hate you, and that's the perfect thing. Does it matter? No. Okay. John Sachs, thanks for stopping by. And best thanks of your, a lot. your rocketing career. And your yeah. rocketing oh, hair as well. Where am I going to be? Where are you going to be? I'm going to be at this the Limelight. This is a show today. At the Limelight tomorrow night. In New York. Yes, at Sixth Avenue and Twenty First Street. Yeah. John Sachs, right here, ladies and gentlemen, on CNN. We'll uh, have the weather with flips by.